Uh, Christmas day today. We have it early every year due to the fact that I have a few children with a few different mothers and it just makes life easy. You got what? Yeah. Are them your ones? Myla, look at Myla's pile. There's mine. This is tiny. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really feel like posting pictures of presents anymore after watching Mr. Russell King's video the other day. Everyone who's got kids, newsflash. We all love our children and most of us are going to buy them some presents for Christmas. That should be enough. If you feel the need to display your pile of presents online, here's a suggestion. Get two carrots off of your snowmen's faces and smash them into your friend's eyes so they never have to look at your attention-seeking, insecure, please look at how much I love my child pile of Bell End presents online. In the old days, it was enough. Just to feel the joy in your Christmas heart. You didn't open the window onto your busy Christmas street and go, excuse me, everyone, strangers, nonces, people I don't know, poke your head through the window and acknowledge how much I love my child. You, Mr. Nonson from Nonsington Parkway, put your head through the window, turn off your Rolf Harris album, have a look. You love your children so much. Can I keep the pictures on the hard drive? <laughs> if you do feel the need to pathetically display the amount of presents in order to get likes from strangers on your dangerously open profile, has it never occurred to you that the quantity of gifts is one of the least admirable things to display? What are you teaching your shits up kids when you give them the lesson? If you buy more stuff and shove it off, you're gonna be happy. Do you know where that journey ends? It ends in a face full of filler and a Rolex watch you can't afford. Oh my God, I might look like Lion King and I'm homeless because I bought a Rolex Lady Datejust and now I've got to do hand shandies by King's Cross. But at least everyone knows how much shit I could accumulate. That's the spirit of Christmas. Right, I'm off to spit on a tramp. You've got nothing. Neither have I now. But perhaps the most bizarre aspect of all is the fact that most of these children won't even see these loving collages of presents. So who's it for? I just love my six month old baby who I've named Ollie Noah, Ollie Elliot Noah, Noah, Ollie Elliot Noah, because no other names exist and I haven't got a fucking brain. I just love him so much. I want Ollie Noah Elliot to know how much I love him with this pile of gifts. You're never gonna see it. Who's it for? It's for you. It's for you and your empty Ebenezer Christmas heart that needs to be stroked by the manicured nails of strangers. Here's some pile of presents for my kids. Ching, 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 ching. Please give me some likes. Please like me. Please like me. Christmas wanker. Seriously, though, have a good Christmas, everyone. Buy shitloads of presents for your kids. Just enjoy the moment in the real world and just be happy. Santa is gonna get a lot more deliveries done this Christmas. Do you know why? Because Santa is on a keto diet and he hasn't had a carbohydrate since January. Ho, ho, ho! I've got so much energy now that I'm drinking butter and eating nuts. I can get down a chimney in no time. With the extra money I'm gonna make, I'm gonna book a table at Ocean Beach Club and sit next to Wayne Lineker while we both get a synchronization nosh off. Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Ho! Oh, that's right, tickle Santa's balls. Tickle the Christmas shaft. That's right, put some mistletoe over my bell end. Lick it! <laughs>